this tutorial on the display style dialog box from the view menu of discovery studio visualizer in this video we will be focusing on the chart window let's begin bismillahir rahmanir rahim to display a chart in chart window first let's open a protein molecule to generate different kinds of charts for this protein go to chart menu here you can see that most of the charts types are inactive to activate them first you have to open the data table for this protein molecule to do so go to view menu and click on data table your data table is now visible below the protein window the data table window has several tabs let me show you all of them one by one You can generate different kinds of charts from chart menu for each of these tabs. As you know that charts need data for x axis and y axis if it is a 2D plot and z axis too if it is a 3D plot. Before generating plots most of the time it will open a choose plot axis dialog box where you will have to specify data for x y and z axis. Let's first see the choose axis dialog box for each of the tab of data table window. Let's go to chart menu. Now click line plot. Here is the choose plot axis dialog box. Here you specify data for x and y axes. Now go to another tab of data table and see the choose plot axis dialog box for that tab. Let me show you these boxes for all these tabs. Some of them will directly generate plot without asking for axes because axes are already known for those types of charts. Okay, you saw choose plot dialog box for all the tabs of the data table. Now let me generate all kinds of plots from chart menu for this atom tab of data table. Go to chart menu, click line plot, the choose plot axis dialog box opens. Now select data for x axis and y axis of the line plot. Let's select name for x axis and leave the y as default. Here we go, our line chart is ready now. Go back to protein window, go to chart, line plot and then choose name as your x axis data and letter 1 as your y axis data. Generate. There you go, your line plot is ready. Now let's generate a point plot. Choose x axis data and y axis data. Let's generate a 3D point plot. For this, you have to choose data for all the three axes. Here you go, your 3D plot is ready now. Generate a heat map. Generate a histogram. Generate a Ramachandran plot. A hydropubicity plot. Alpha contact plot. Beta contact plot. Side chain contact plot. Hydrogen bond contact plot and residue type contact plot. Now let us see the display dialog box for all these chart windows. The structure and options of all display style dialog boxes are almost the same for all the chart types except the differences in advanced tab. 
The display style dialog box of each chart window has three common tabs that is general, advanced and axis and font tab. So these were the display style dialog boxes for all of them. Now let's use the options of display style dialog box to modify the charts. As an example, I'm taking a line and point plot. As you can see, this dialog box has three tabs, general, advanced, and axis and font tab. Let's start with general tab. The general tab of the charts display style dialog allows you to set the titles and the minimum and, ex and maximum data range for the current plot or map. The general tab has these options, titles and data range. The title has four options. The first one is show chart title. This checkbox controls the display of title on the chart. Whatever you enter in the chart becomes the centered title on the chart. Let's write Roshan here. Remember, you must check this box to make the chart title visible. Now click OK. You're done. Here is your chart title. The text you enter in x-axis becomes the title of the x-axis on the chart. The text you enter here becomes the title of the y-axis on the chart. If it is a 3D plot, you will also have z-axis title here. The next thing we have is data range. It controls the range of values displayed on the axis. Suppose your default values for this plot are 0 to 90 on x-axis and 0 to 60 on y-axis. Now let's change these values. The plot will be adjusted accordingly to the new values. Now let's take another example. Now we will go to the axis and font tab. The axis and font tab on the display style dialog allows you to set the title, axis and legend font sizes and types hide or show major and minor tick and grid lines and hide or show the legend for the current plot. Here we have these main things. Title font, axis font, legend font, x and y axis and legend. First, let's start with title font control. It has two options, the font type and font size. The default size is 12 here. Let's increase it to 15 suppose. The title size will increase now. Now let's increase the axis font. The axis font sizes are now increased. Now let's check show legend box so that legend box is visible. Now let's try to change the font size of legend text. It is now increased in size. Check this box. Major tick lines will appear on x axis. Check this box. Major ticks will appear on y axis. Check this box. Minor tick lines appear on x axis. Check this box and minor ticks appears on y axis. Check this box and you see the major grid lines on x axis. Check this box and you see major grid lines on y axis. Check this box, minor grid lines appears on x axis. And check this box and minor grid lines are visible now on y axis. Now let's take another example for checking font styles. The default style, for example, for the title, axis and legend is Calibri. Let's change the title font style to Brandish, suppose. There we go. Let's change axis font to Stencil, suppose. This will affect the axis font style. This will change the font type of legend text. Show legend toggles the display hide show of the legend to the right of the plot. Let's take another plot as an example for the tutorial on advanced tab. It allows you to configure the appearance of the data points, lines, background, text and axis etc. Click on the color bar next to the following options to launch the select color dialog which allows you to specify a color for that option. Background sets the background color. Selection tab sets the color used to indicate selection in the plot. Suppose you have selected these three points which appears yellow because the color for selection is yellow here. Let's change it to red. 
You see these points have turned red now. Let's change the color of the axis. Let's change the color of the text. Let's change the color of the line. Let's increase the thickness of the line from here. Let's increase the point sizes from here. Now let's take another example where show points on line is turned off. Let's check this box. The points will now appear on the line. The reset button will remove all the changes you have made to the graph and you will have everything in default. This button will make your current modifications as your default settings. You should be careful about this button because it changes your factory settings of DS Visualizer. Now let me show you these things practically. Here I am showing the use of display dialog box on Ramachandran plot. Let's move to line plot and try these options. Come back to Ramachandra plot again. Change the point size and shape from here. Try on 3D plot. Let's reset everything to default initial values. So this was all for today. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to support by subscribing my channel. Also please like, share and comment. Thanks and bye.